air expands on heating. Now let us perform an activity. Take a boiling tube. Stretch a balloon tightly over the neck of the tube and make it tight by using a tape. Pour some hot water in a beaker. Insert the boiling tube with the balloon in the hot water so that, that the free end is inside the beaker. Observe for 2 to 3 minutes for any change in shape of the balloon. Take the tube out. Let it cool down to the room temperature. Take some ice cold water in another beaker and place the tube with the balloon in cold water for 2 to 3 minutes. Observe the change in the shape of the balloon. The balloon gets inflated when the boiling tube is placed in hot water. We can observe the same balloon getting deflated when the tube is kept in cold water. From this experiment we can conclude that the air expands on heating. Now let's perform another activity. Take two empty paper cups of the same size. Hang the two cups in the inverted position on the two ends of a wooden stick. Tie a piece of thread in the middle of the stick. Hold the stick by the thread so that it looks like a simple balance. Place a burning candle below one of the cups. We can observe the balance of the cups getting disturbed. In this activity we can find that warm air rises up. As the warm air rises up, it pushes the cup above the candle and the balance gets disturbed. The disturbance in the balance indicates that the warm air is lighter than the cold air. As we already know, on heating the air expands and occupies more space. When the same amount of air occupies more space, it becomes lighter. Hence, we can conclude that the warm air is lighter than the cold air. That is the reason we always find smoke rising up. Now let us analyze these observations and try to understand why pressure differences are created in nature. In nature, there are several situations. When warm air rises at a place, the air pressure at that place is lowered. The cold air from the surrounding areas rushes in to fill its place. This sets up convection in air. 